Okay, this scenario has definitely happened to all of us. You make this big dinner, and then for the next few days, the leftovers just take up fridge space. Maybe you're thinking, like, I want to eat them, but it just doesn't sound right. Then you decide to throw them out. That is a real struggle for me. I, I do know. not like throwing away food. You know, I had to throw something away the other, uh, actually this morning, but it was fine. It was an avocado, and it got... <laughs> but oh I, still, I still felt so bad. avocados are three dollars. I know, but I felt bad. I'm like, I was going to eat this, and then I forgot, and then it was like slimy brown, and everybody knows, know. right? So next time, give your leftovers some new life. So Ashley from the Beef Council is here with some inspiration for all of us on those leftovers, but first, <gasps> Ashley, first, oh you gosh. guys. Some big congrats are in order. We just had a big congrats to K102, and a big congrats to you, because you got married. You got I did. Married. I got married. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This is so beautiful. Ashley, how was the wedding? I mean, what are you going to say? It was terrible? You're going to yeah, say right? it was great. Yeah, it was amazing. Um, really surreal, honestly. It's Aww. like one day, and then boom, you're married. And there it's just go. crazy. But it's it was a beautiful day, and yeah, we had a lot of fun. Okay, so yeah. Ashley Kramer, introduce yourself. What is your new name? <laughs> My new name is Ashley Wolf. Oh, oh that's a good God, name. That's a real strong name. I like that a lot. <laughs> People really liked your hashtag. It was hashtag starting a wolf pack. That oh, was our yeah, that's yeah, cute. I like that. Yeah, yeah weddings are interesting because it's so much planning and there yeah. can be so much stress. And then mm -hmm. it just the, the day it happens, it's like boom. And then it's, it's done. It's a blur. It's gone. Yeah, I know. Yeah. We always say that, like, man, like we didn't get to talk to everyone, or like so many moments that you're like. Boom, it was a blur. But, but now you don't have amazing. to plan it anymore, so think about all the free time you have. It's that <laughs> right? part does get exciting. Oh my gosh, I remember that. Well, listen, let's yeah. get to some of your amazing uh, recipes because you always bring us such good stuff. Tell us about the leftover elements that you're incorporating here. Yeah, so um, when you're thinking about leftovers, sometimes they just sit in your fridge, especially if it's like pot roast or brisket and things like that. Yeah. So um, they're great to eat as they are, but sometimes it's fun to spice it up and try something new and really create something different. So um, we have three different recipes. I made them all with the chuck beef pot roast oh but great. um you could do like if you had leftover ground beef or leftover brisket you could do that with any one of these recipes oh too. this is good yeah that is such a good idea because i even again i was talking about my big problems i have with my chicken thighs tonight but you know if the kids see the leftover pot roast like oh pot roast again yeah. like, we're having mm -hmm. the leftovers mm -hmm. and like now you can just kind of sneak in no 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 we're going to have this like these little stuffed pastas yeah. that's what we're going to do yeah and you don't want to mm -hmm. waste that protein i mean Absolutely you know not. beef is important it's it can be expensive you want to make sure that you're using it and that everybody's getting a uh, protein packed dinner so this beefy italian stuffed shells yes. this like reminds me of my childhood okay what really yeah my mom would make stuffed shells and i like Ooh, loved it it awesome. felt so sweet yeah so this is our um, stuffed shells so i'm going to walk you through the process as we go here. Um, so if you actually want to help me out, I'll we just do. walk yep. you through. So yep. um, first off, you're going to layer the bottom of a 7 by 11 pan with some spaghetti sauce. Okay. Yep, just um, about just a cup, but enough, I would say. Yeah, you could probably just okay, dump thank it. You. There you Let's go. Just I was like, how there long am go. I going to spoon this in here? Okay, there you go. that looks pretty good. Yep, and then um, you're just going to simply lay the shells on, stuffing them. So um, we have our leftover beef pot roast in here. Oh. Um, and we mix that with um, some spinach. Okay. And some granulated garlic. Um, and some different cheeses as well. Looks like cottage some cheese. Cottage cheese. Yep, thank oh you. Oh my gosh. So it's really like a, a lasagna mixture, essentially, yeah. but we're gonna stuff it into shells. Oh, see, okay, now you pre cook the shells. Yes, yeah, so I did pre cook the shells. Thank you for noticing. Yeah, <laughs> you did a very good job. Thank you. <laughs> and you don't, I, I mean, I think the trick with some of this too is you really don't wanna overcook those shells. Right. Because they're gonna cook longer. Yep, the box said like 14 to 15 minutes, so I actually did like 13 minutes. Okay, smart. You don't want them to fall apart, you want them to stay fairly firm. Yeah. Um, so stuff them in there, yep, and then you're doing a great job. Just Do you lay want them, them in there. Yeah. like that? Or yeah, how do you want yep, that? so we laid them facing upward. Yeah. Um, and then the last step is just to sprinkle whatever cheese of your choice on there. I love that you did the... Um, like the parsley in there too. I think the, mm -hmm. like the freshness of the greens mm -hmm. and it's not because my mom would do like spinach and cheese ones. Oh sure. Um, but I love this parsley is like so bright and delicious and you've got a lot of meat in there. Yep. Which is good. All it's that filling. protein packed. Yeah this one's really great. It has per serving 40 grams of protein which oh, is 80% wow. of your daily value. So we love that. So one serving. Some might say that daily value is low. I, I, <laughs> That's would, true. I would agree with you on that. Listen, they do. But still lots of protein. Okay. Um, and then you could top with the remaining sauce if you'd like a little more saucy. And then cheese, bake in the oven at 375 for about 20 to 25 I gotta minutes. Say, you want to share it, some stuff, Shell? It, and that's all you this need. looks restaurant quality. I know. Okay, it, well, it, totally it really does. does. This we looks like to hear so that. good. I know. Like but see, restaurant quality, but it's really very simple. Yeah. Yes. The great thing about leftovers is that sometimes the protein or the beef oh. can be what takes the longest to take, right? Uh -huh. Like you slow cook a beef roast, mm. but then you can have it for all these meals throughout the week. Oh my gosh, I love That's that texture. so yummy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I'm glad. That you is it. very, very good. Oh man, yeah. I gotta make that. 
I know. That's real I've good. Never, we've never done stuffed shells before. Oh my gosh, but the really? cottage cheese. So that's all new to me. The cottage cheese is another big protein boost. It absolutely is. I think that's another reason why it's an added protein boost along with the beef. I did not expect you to show up and make sushi today, but alas, you're married. You're, 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 you're a whole new person. This I guess is so. Very exciting. I know. My uh, husband and I had sushi on our honeymoon, so maybe that was the inspiration. I don't know. Mm, so, that's um, so sweet. Yeah. So how are we doing Yeah, this how do we prepare beef, this? Though? Yep, so um, when it comes to sushi, a lot of times people think, that it's got to be like raw fish or raw raw protein or what have you. Yeah. But um, I'm not a huge raw fish person. So what I love about this is it's the cooked beef. Um, so if you're not into raw, this is a great one for you. Um, so there's a couple different ways you can do the sushi. Um, so this is a bamboo mat. But if you don't have a bamboo mat, you can use parchment paper. And just roll and it. And just roll it with that. Okay. Um, <laughs> you preemptively paper towel. <laughs> He's like, yeah. I know. Good yep. idea. And Had then this is just a sticky white rice that we laid on top of the nori. So this is dried seaweed. Yep. And that's going to be our base. So I'm going to let you guys layer whatever you'd like on top of it. So oh. we have our fresh cut veggies. Yeah. Um, okay, I did do them raw. Avocado. You could do them cooked if you would prefer. This avocado it, it survived. Yeah. This one's better yeah, this than the one, one yes. This one pretty good. Okay, the carrot. Mm -hmm. See, this is so good because you can just load it up with whatever you like. Yes, and then it's it's to your preference. Um, so then after you have the beef and the veggies on there, you can go ahead and lay what's what's called a yum yum sauce, or it's an Asian style dressing yeah. on oh, top yeah. of the beef and the veggies. Okay. And then we're gonna roll after you're done with that. Okay. Oh boy, I'm really nervous <laughs> yeah, about you this. Do I'm this? real nervous All about right, this. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna actually flip it this way. Okay. So what you're gonna do is kind of... Did I pack too much in there? No, you did great. The more, the merrier, right? Oh, so okay. Really, that like, as and the then guide. push it down and then kind of keep rolling oh. and use it as the guide to kind of keep, keep packing it all in there. And then you have essentially your roll. And oh then gosh. you can cut it up and then okay, you have so it you like that You slice it, right serve it just like you would sushi. Okay, mm -hmm. so real quick, how about this artichoke dip? This yes. looks like something I would mm -hmm. have all by myself. Uh, let's Absol dig into well, it. Yeah, and it would essentially be just an appetizer, but because we added the beef, I say yeah. use it as your main course. Oh my gosh. Um, so it's got the, get that on that the artichokes, the spinach, cheeses, and you just put it in the oven for 25 minutes and it's great for gatherings, even maybe for supper. Mm. So it's just a standard artichoke, artichoke dip, your mm -hmm. favorite recipe, and just put the leftover beef in. Yep, we use the recipe on our beef. It's what's for dinner, mnbeef.org website. Yeah. Um, and so we added the pot roast leftover in there, <laughs> and it makes it protein packed once again. That's real good. Mm -hmm. We're going to get after that sushi, too. Ashley, yeah, great absolutely. job. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. And congratulations again. Yeah, congrats. Thank you. Yum. Ashley Wolf, I like it. Yeah, me too. So we posted all of Ashley's recipes at TwinCitiesLive.com slash recipes. Uh, you can find more information about the Minnesota Beef Council, including recipe ideas and meal planning at mnbeef.org.